So I hope you guys can see me. So I decided to start the vlog here. I'm doing a quick workout. Um, I'm actually doing a quick eight weeks diet right now. Uh, I'm gonna try to trim down a little bit just because I've gained quite a bit of weight. Um, so yeah, uh, it's pretty late in the afternoon. I just finished work, so it's a little good sweat. I just did about 10 minutes of uh, skip rope and then I'm gonna do, probably do some legs. So yeah, anyway, uh, I'm gonna hop into the workout right now. Just thought I'll quickly check in. Let's get into it. So I started off by warming up. Now, uh, I was training legs uh, today. So one of the things that I actually um, really like to do when I'm training legs is like have a really good stretch in the morning and you know uh, open up my hips you know activate my glutes and then go train legs obviously like right now like for me uh, I'm training downstairs this is just gym it doesn't have that much equipment as like a normal gym so uh, you know I'm not squatting or anything but so I'm doing a lot of volume so what I did for my warm-up is skipping rope uh, that's actually something that I don't know like I don't find that many people like do that anymore. You know, it's like most of the time we're either on a treadmill or on a bike, but I actually started incorporating a bit of a uh, rope skipping and uh, I find it's a, such a great way to grow your calves. Um, and then I moved into the workout. So I actually started with uh, goblin squats, which I, uh, I actually haven't done in a while. And I find like, you know, with right now with like kind of being on lockdown, not being able to use gyms, it's kind of nice to be able to, uh, train differently so like something like goblin squats which are absolutely amazing that I, I hadn't done in quite a while and i felt like over the last year i've kind of like really been doing a lot more sort of like different exercises and it's helped me so much you know um and even when the gyms reopened i noticed that i didn't lose that much strength you know i was still pretty strong especially after a week like going into my second week i was almost close to lifting what I was lifting uh, prior, you know, like I was maybe at like 85%. So that really made me happy because it showed that like I kind of kept my consistency with the little that I had. And then after that, we moved into this other workout. Now this is more of a burn workout. What I usually, the way I used to do this one is I would take a plate, but because we don't have any plates um, at the gym right now, I kind of just used a dumbbell and I did about four sets of this one. It's really good. It burns, but it's more so of a hit workout. I find, you know, um, at the end, I'm not necessarily sore in my legs. I'm just out of breath. And then after that, I moved into, um, some Bulgarian squats. Now, uh, Bulgarian squats as well have been a workout that I haven't done in so long, man. Like I, I like honestly, like I've been, there, there's all these different workouts that I usually used to do like when I was in uni that I'm just not doing as much anymore. So um, I did about three to four sets of that um, and then I mixed it with some stiff deadlifts. I do them all the time. Uh, anytime that I'm training legs, I usually do these with either a barbell or just like some dumbbells like I did here. Um, now, um, the dumbbells at my gym currently downstairs go up to 50 pounds. So that's the most I can use. So what I've actually just been doing is just doing more reps. So, you know, instead of doing 10 reps, I'll do like 15, 20, and I'll do like four or five sets, you know, uh, just because at, at a main gym, I'm kind of used to training a bit heavier with heavier weights. Uh, so this gives me room to kind of do more higher reps, which is something that I don't usually do. And it's always good. It's always good to keep sort of like your body guessing. Um, so yeah, I finished off with some, um, leg extensions and again uh, another exercise that I honestly I don't do that often you know like uh, when I'm in the gym usually it's like squats some deadlifts some stiff deadlifts and I'm pr that's pretty much it every now and then I'll do leg extensions and then I finished the workout with just a little walk cool down 
100 calories burnt and that was pretty much it. Right, so ready to step out. I have my hoodie by Chen Peng, which I've layered under the cold wall vest. I hadn't tried layering this hoodie yet just because it's quite heavy. It's like heavy con, so it's pretty warm. But uh, it looks really good with the vest, the cold wall vest layered on top. And then at the bottom, just a casual look. We have my 80s uh, leather jeans with my Bottega boots that I've really been enjoying wearing during this uh, spring season. So yeah, all black look, my beanie from a local boutique here in Montreal. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw on my rings. Complete look, I'll show you guys before I step out. So, pretty satisfied. Um, I get a lot of questions about this bag. This bag is from Yayan Van Ach and a couple online retailers carried the brand. So, um, but it's, it's really old. It's from, from like an old season and I get a lot of questions about the bag. So um, yeah, try to find something similar. Um, you can try new season Yan or you can just check your local stores and try to find something similar. But yeah, this is the full outfit. Looks pretty good, pretty satisfied. So yeah, let's head out. All right, so I'm currently waiting for the Metro. Uh, I'm gonna head to Louis Boutique, which is a store, like a designer consignment store uh, that's located on Salon. I'm gonna check that one out to see if I can find anything. And then I'm gonna head to a couple of thrift stores and end up at Uniqlo because I wanna buy the beanies that I talked to you guys about. I'll show you guys when I get there. But yeah, uh, it's a pretty quiet Saturday to be honest, like there's no one out. But I guess due to the lockdown and really not having much to do, it's just so tough to find the motivation to get out of the house. But yeah, anyway, stay tuned. Um, hopefully I find something, man, because I've been so tired of um, shopping online and I'm really hoping that I'm able to find some pieces to wear uh, during the spring season. So yeah, we'll check out the boutique. I actually haven't been to that boutique in so long. So I uh, hope to have a couple items. I think last time I was there was maybe, probably two years ago, to be honest. Alright guys, so just got back from the Roost Boutique and Uniqlo, so I ended up picking up a few things, but uh, I didn't check out as many uh, boutiques as I wanted to just because um, I just ran out of time to be honest. And as well, um, the Roost Boutique was quite busy, so they didn't want me to record too much, so um, I'll try to show clips here and there of what the boutique looks like, but uh, I'm pretty sure if any of you are based in... Uh, in Montreal, it's it's like sort of like a designer consignment store, and you can definitely find um, some pieces there. Uh, especially if you're like I find they have a bit more women's wear, but they still do have a good selection of men's wear. They have a, an Instagram and an online um, site as well. So if you guys want to check them out, it's Rus Boutique on Saint Laurent. Definitely make sure to do so. But uh, I'm gonna quickly talk about the pieces that I got. So uh, I actually just picked up the one blazer from them and uh, two sunglasses just to support the boutique. Um, and then I ended up at Uniqlo and got two binnies for the uh, spring season. I absolutely love this blazer. I feel like it's one of those pieces that um, I could potentially wear at an event or just like if I'm going out with friends. And I kind of had been meaning to add on to uh, my random identities blazer just because that particular blazer, I wear it all the time. Uh, anytime that I'm like, going out or like uh, feel like dressing up, I always um, gravitate towards the Random Identities blazer. So adding this into my blazer collection would definitely uh, be nice. So it's a striped blazer, something that I don't already have in my wardrobe. I love the navy colorway and I feel like it would look good with a lot of my trousers and just like tank tops or shirts. 
So uh, super happy with it. I got it for about a hundred Canadian dollars, which is a pretty fair deal, honestly. It's pretty well fitted. I love the length of the blazer and I feel like I could dress it up. Uh, I could wear it casually, but, you, but I could also dress it up. So for me, it's always a win if I'm able to find pieces where I can kind of combine them on my day-to-day -day sort of like outfits, but I can also wear it as like, you know, if I'm going to like a wedding, let's say, or just a specific sort of um, event where you kind of really have to dress up. Um, and then I picked these two sunglasses. These are actually their own brand. Nothing too crazy, like they're pretty simplistic, but I love the silhouette. And I had kind of been meaning to add onto my sunglasses uh, collection just because I've been wearing my uh, a better feeling quite a lot and my Dom Vetros as well that I was wearing uh, in this vlog. So, um, so yeah, so these two glasses, a white, a white pair, something that I don't have and just a simple black pair. For Uniqlo, I just got the two binis, a black one and a sort of like light yellow uh, colorway. Now, uh, I had been meaning to get these beanies uh, because one of my boys uh, picked up a gray one and a black one and I thought they looked really nice. And I get a lot of questions with regards to where I find my beanies. So most of my beanies, I get them from Raised by Society. So these two Uniqlo ones. So the first one, I kind of wanted to show you guys some of the different ways that I personally tend to wear my beanies. So these Uniqlo ones, um, the black one, as you can see, I kind of like did a double fold on it. Uh, so that's one way that I could wear a beanie that's not necessarily a fisherman beanie. I could kind of like double fold it and then it kind of looks a bit more like a fisherman beanie. And then the uh, yellow one, if you look, that's what the beanie looks like if I don't fold it. So it's pretty simplistic. It will kind of look like the one that I have on right now. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's usually the two ways that I tend to wear my beanies. Honestly, I would say that like instead of doing the double fold, just find a website like Raised by Society or any website that sells um, uh, fisherman beanies and cop one. And that is going to conclude today's vlog, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I highly appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe and drop a like if you enjoy the video. As well, you can follow me on my Instagram, G-R-E-G-N-T-R-E, -E, where I post regular outfit pictures. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.